All right. Ugh. So this is my Traxxas slash 4x4, well, one of them. And I was last using this in a video where I was down at the Blackfoot RC track in Calgary, Alberta uh, for like a winter snow bash. And I bashed this body pretty hard. This body is not painted. It's actually hydro dipped uh, by my buddy Thomas at Pit Dog Hydro. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description box down below. I did get a bit of damage, the hydro dip did break off uh, in the extreme cold, but that was not the problem about why I'm here today. This is kind of expected in really cold temperatures. The problem I have is that I've got a tear in this body. I don't mind painting it and doing touch-ups, but when you start to get a big hole in Lexan, look at that, hey, what a shame. Just being cold and kind of bending it and flexing it, it broke. Now, there are several ways I could go ahead and try and fix this. Uh, a lot of us would go ahead and take a drill, just kind of drill on either side and zip tie it together, kind of like stitches on the outside. Very cool, I can always default to that if today's trick doesn't work. Uh, I also could put a piece of Lexan behind here, glue it and try to put a clamp on here so it just kind of formed as one. Um, but I wanted to try something different. Now, in no way uh, have I been, quote, sponsored or approached by this company, but you guys know as RC hobbyists and RC addicts, we're always looking for a quick fix out on the trail, and I'm beginning to wonder, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to give it a try today, if this Bondic uh, stuff is uh, any good. Now, it says on the website it is not a glue. I got this at Lowe's, like it's a... Uh, just like a home hardware, that kind of thing. Lowe's is just a, a place to get all your home improvement needs. There you go. Uh, something like that. But this says it can repair your glasses. It can insulate water, uh, wires, fix leaks on copper. It can make threading and it can repair jewelry, a whole bunch of different things. And as far as I know, it's just kind of like a paste that reacts to ultraviolet light. So what I want to do is see if I can use some of this to bond this together again. And uh, what does it say on the website here? Uh, Bondic works where glue fails, won't dry out, only hardens when you want it to. A four-step process, clean, fill, cure, and blah, 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 blah. That's, I guess, on the website. I uh, haven't really gone into it too much other than I wanted to give it a try. So this cost me about 20 bucks and uh, hmm, neat. Let's get into the instructions and see if this is even going to work. Hmm, check it out. I was actually looking at this instruction book uh, and I find it interesting. Applications for many household a hobby and professional repairs for use on metal, wood, plastic, stone, brick, glass, ceramic, in model building and electronics, low current or low voltage, decorations, blah, 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 miniature molds, automotive sector, blah, blah, blah. If you guys want to check it out, there's more. But I wanted to kind of learn about the process. Uh, so clip or the pen used for holding the cartridge, inserting the cartridge and lock by turning the LED can be removed from the clip or the pen. Cool, dude. What's going on here? So I don't want to break it yet. So two part. Okay, I'm going to still have a look at the instructions and then I'll let you know what I find. Here's that end. Check it out. There's a little button on the back. Turns on the light, the infrared light. Neat. Okay, from what I gather, it's a four-step process. It says sand the surface, fill and layer, UV cure for three or four seconds, file, sand, and shape. So, that's cool. Let's see how easy it is for a first-time user that just grabbed it off the shelf. This has the potential to be in our work kit, if it works. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to, I want it to still look nice on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and just tape it together on the outside. Because I'm going to repair it from the inside. So, I'm lining it up. For those that don't know, this is something called Gorilla Tape. I use all the time. People that watch the show know I pimp this stuff all the time. It's just kind of like duct tape, but it's threaded and it's a little bit more stronger. Here, Pit Dog Hydro actually signed this for me back uh, 2014. Cool. 
Okay, so now it's kind of lined up. I'm gonna to wanna to sand it, but I'm gonna sand it lightly because I don't want that hydro dip to come off. So I'll be very, very careful. So I'm just trying to rough up the surface, but not too much so I go straight through. And I'm using this block because it has a nice sharp edge on it and I can kind of run the edge of the actual crack. I'm not, you know, if, though I'm sanding, I'm not having to sand too much around it. Okay, and I'll wipe it off. And give it a dry. Nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a compressor and just blow out this area and make sure there's no moisture left. Okay, looking pretty good. Instructions say fill and layer. Let me see here. Make sure it's lined up properly. Use the pen. So the pen does have this small applicator and this is all very soft plastic so I can squeeze it. There we are. So it's just that liquid sitting on top now. Now it says I'm supposed to use that little light, the UV light, for three or four seconds. Okay. <laughs> Making sure everything's kind of as flush as possible. Turning on this little light. Small button, there we go. This is supposed to be UV reactive. One, two, three, four. I'm just trying to go over this. It's changing color. I can see, you guys can't really see, I guess it's out of focus there. At the top, it's changing color. There we go. Looks like it's welding, hey, with that nice, neat orange light. It's actually very purple in person. It's just the way the camera is interpreting it. One, two, three, four. Just trying to go over every area so it has enough time to cure. Who knows, this is where I could mess it up totally. <laughs> Out on the field or anything like this, I can see if it does work, how this would be a super help. Especially if you have like a broken C-hub or something like that. I'm gonna have to do more tests than uh, just the, the Lexan body here. I'm gonna just see how that's doing. Turn it off, please. There we go. It's kind of tacky. Okay, so let me do it a little bit longer. I don't know, I didn't read the instructions the whole way, like most people. <laughs> I wouldn't really call this a tutorial video. I would say it's more of a real life experience video. Still just trying to get it to react. It was very tacky, like to the touch, kind of sticky. Uh, could also have been just the way it's curing. Oh yeah, it's totally solidifying. I'm touching it with the light now. There we go. Beauty. Okay, let's try that. Light is off. The light itself comes out of the orange handle, I've just discovered. Feels done, actually. That's not liquid anymore. Nice. Let's back it up a little. Bondic. <laughs> Neat name. I wonder how they came up with that. Okay, so there we go. Backing it right up. Here will be the test when I take the paint off, or when I take the tape off, pardon me. Okay, gentle so it doesn't pull it apart. Okay, well I'll be darned, check it out. I can still see a crack there, but if I went in with a uh, felt marker and did the line, look at this, it's totally sealed. Wow, neat. <laughs> okay, a little purple light just sealed my Lexan body. Huh, okay, 
Neat. I don't know what to say other than that. I'm gonna get a felt and see if I can color that in. Emergency body repair brought to you by Sharpie. <laughs> yeah, I could probably be way more gentle with this, but since it is a battle wound, I don't mind. There we go. Especially if you kind of just work it in a little bit, make it go with the pattern. Bring it down here with the color. Let me get you in closer here. Get that line out. Beautiful. Okay. So if I took a cloth and gave that a wipe, look at that. It just basically looks like a dent. Cool. There you go, Bondic. Your product basically just sold itself. <laughs> there we go. Neat. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it seems to work for me. Hopefully that uh, is a good idea. I think I'm gonna pick some up. I'll have it in my tool pouch and I'll be able to use it on other plastic parts and I'll report as I go if it's working or not. And uh, I'll put it on film for you guys to see. Hopefully it helps you out. And at least I can get this beautiful bod back out on the, on the, uh, on the course, on the racetrack. And I'll go ahead and paint this. I'll mask off the uh, window here and then I'll fill in the rest with blue and it really shouldn't be that bad. Check it out. I love finding shortcuts. Life hack. Okay guys, thanks a lot. If you enjoyed the, uh, the demonstration video, I guess. It's my first time, so it worked out pretty good. I'm giving it a thumbs up. If you guys want to give it a thumbs up, cool. If you're subscribed, thanks for supporting. And we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have some fun with the radio control hobby. See you next time. Bye.